Retired TVA employee John Blackwell is on a mission to preserve the history of Wilson Dam and the Tennessee River for future generations. The dam was the largest construction project ever when it was completed in 1925. And while it helped to ease turbulent navigation in the Muscle Shoals area of the Tennessee River, it was actually built to provide energy for World War I weapons manufacturing. It's the largest conventional hydroelectric dam TVA has on the system. Hydro generating the electricity, yeah, yeah. navigations, the lock system. And, and, and flood control. And with flood the control with the spillways. Yeah. OK. Somebody said, is it enough to power all the houses in this area? Of course, but it goes into the TVA power grid system out of Chattanooga where it's controlled. OK. And uh, they like to have hydroelectric because, you know, it's no big footprint from it, you know, carbon footprint or anything. Exactly, and they can yeah. start them up quick and they can take them down quick. It's not like a coal fired plant or a nuclear plant, which takes hours and maybe days to get up and down. Economically, it's a very good source of electric power. Okay? And environment. That's right. And while this neoclassical style wonder is a sight to see from the overlook, it takes on an entirely different sense of wonder when John gives you an exclusive tour by boat. So you've grown up on this lake. Yeah, that's right. I've been here uh, 76 years. Never thought of leaving. No. I moved away from the Army to Southeast Asia, and that wasn't as pleasant, OK? <laughs> What's the best part of this area? We're on it. Yeah. We're on it right now, Wilson, Tennessee River. Yeah. On the oh, back. yeah. Where do you fly fish normally? Shallow water, right? Mm hmm This is the best fly fishing spot in the world, 100 feet deep right here. Say what now? This is the best fly fishing spot on the whole river right here. And it's 100 feet deep? Yeah. Now, my brother didn't believe me, and I brought him out here one day, and all the brim and everything are right here. They come to feed, and you would never think, 100 feet of water? No, no way you could find a fish. But of course, brim fishing's good here, cat fishing. And I, I don't have my depth finder on, but it's about 80, 90 feet. A message to give to everybody is that don't litter. Got things in your boat, tie them down. Because look here, here's where it comes. <laughs> and it could end up going down to Tennessee to the Ohio, then, all right, I'm going to get over here where you can see the planks a little bit better, OK? You begin to see them a little bit now. Yeah, you can see the wood grain That's and right. everything. Yeah, everything, everything. You said they cut individually, cut and all those. That's all those planks. Probably it took all the wood within 100 miles of this place, I would think. Man. Well, they did something right, because it's all still. Oh, yeah, it's still here. This is where I come to to troll and to fish for stripe and bass. Anytime the generator's on, you can catch them. Oh, gotcha. OK. And if I want to find out at home, I go on the TVA website to see when this is going to be operating. And you said when they're generating, that's the best time to come uh, Either down below the dam or up on the lake. Either OK. One. And uh, so in terms of the just the wildlife that we have just in this area. Well, the main bird, I think, that most important is the American bald eagle. And uh, TVA helped to introduce both the osprey and the bald eagle. OK. Also, you have the Canadian geese that are here, the coumarons that are here, giant blue herons, and the white egrets are up here as well. It's a wildlife paradise. That is pretty spectacular, John. Yeah. I thought you'd enjoy it. Look at all the coumarons down there, see them? Wow. Yeah. Isn't that, that magnificent? That is beautiful. John gave me lots of good info to pass along about Wilson Dam. So mission accomplished, John. Well done.